created because if it occurred, then we are eternally accountable to Jesus. If it did not occur, then it's all a big joke. Because just as you want to hit the bullseye, Paul said in the, at the end of 1 Corinthians 15, that this is of such importance that it all stands or falls on this. There are other circles on the target, but the most important is the person and the resurrection of Jesus. So I did three teachings on the Facebook Live this week with Dr. Rich Safleta. Most of you know his story. He was a psychology professor at Georgia. He was a faculty advisor to the Atheist Club. He was not just an atheist, he was a pretty militant atheist. He wanted to deconvert Christians. We began a relationship 12 years ago on Good Friday. As we began to meet at Starbucks downtown Athens on a regular basis, I listened a lot, and he had a lot of questions, and, and his two big ones were, how can a loving God send people to hell? And then it was basically questions about uh, evolution. Because he believed strongly in evolution. And I said, Rick, those are important questions. Okay, they really are. And we will get to those eventually, and there are good answers to them. But Rich, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the central issue of Jesus and the resurrection. We'll get to the others eventually, okay? But I want to encourage you to focus, as the scriptures say, on what is the bullseye. And that is the person of Christ and his resurrection. Because if he did not rise from the dead, even, even the Bible says we are most to be pitied. It's all a joke. It is foolish that we're all here in this room today celebrating. If he didn't rise. But if he did, then you're eternally accountable. Rich began a journey of investigating the evidence for the person and the resurrection of Jesus. And he ran, he ran headlong into the abundance of evidence that he could not deny. And he gave his heart and life to Jesus Christ. Now he has his master's in Christian apologetics, and he's a full time minister. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Is those questions he had that were out here, all of a sudden began to kind of go from foggy to clear. Because he had a heart change. You see? And your mind, listen, your mind will not properly understand anything until there's a heart change. Why is our world so screwed up today? Common sense is out the window. Women biologically participating in male sports and vice versa? That is ludicrous. Where the hell is it going? It is absolutely, you talk about demeaning the women. Hey women, how do you feel about a biological man competing with you? in something like swimming or basketball. It makes no sense. But listen, it doesn't make sense when people are unregenerate. When there's a heart far from God, the mind will not think clearly. So we need to have compassion, but we also need to speak the truth. And we need to help steer people to the bullseye. That's Jesus. 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 Jesus gives hope. Jesus gives forgiveness. Jesus gives a second chance and a third chance. Jesus gives a fresh start. Jesus can meet you where you are. Jesus loves you right where you are. Jesus can transform your life. Jesus can fill you with his divine Holy Spirit. That's the good news. Amen. I hope we celebrate